So first you need your contingency table before you make your cluster bar graph. So here's our data from the last video and our contingency table from the last video. First I'm going to talk about how to make a frequency cluster bar chart. So first you need your f f um, contingency frequency table. And so here is the bar chart. It's not filled in yet, but on the y-axis we have the frequencies. On the x-axis we have one of the variables. You can pick one of them. doesn't matter which one. In this case, I have a dog variable there. So you either do not own a dog or you own a dog. And then the different colors are going to represent if you own a cat or you do not own a cat. So the lighter orange is going to be for you do not own a cat and the darker orange is going to be for you for those who own cats. And so if we go to our contingency table. We have two people that do not own a dog and do not own a cat. And so that's going to be the first bar here. And so two people do not own a dog and do not own a cat, so it's going to be that lighter yellow. And it's going to be by the do not own a dog. And then three people own a cat but do not own a dog, so that's going to be the darker orange here, and it's going to go right by the other bar. And so it's going to be for the do not own a dog but owns a cat. And then we're going to go two owns a dog and does not own a cat and there's four people that fit in that category so that's going to be the lighter orange and then there's five people who own a dog and a cat and so it's going to be the darker orange here and there we have a frequency clustered bar chart so you can also do it with proportion so you need your proportion contingency table first and it's going to look very similar to the frequency cluster bar chart, but instead of having the frequencies on the y-axis, we have the proportions. But it's really going to look almost just the same, just the y-axis is going to change. But the proportion of the, the bars are going to be exactly the same, so it's not going to look different like at all. Just the y-axis. And then you can also do it with percentages. The same thing, you need a percentage um, contingency table. And it's going to look the same, besides we're going to have percentages on the y-axis, but the bars are going to look just about the same, or they are the same, just the y-axis is different. So now I'm going to talk about how to make an APA style clustered bar graph. Here's what it kind of looks like, and then here's the bars. Notice it's not orange. Um, so some things about it. We have in black, white, and gray. It's in Times New Roman font, and there's usually no lines. So on the other ones, we kind of had lines um, going horizontally, so we can kind of um, know what the frequencies are a little bit easier. But we really don't want lines. We kind of want it as simple as possible here. There's only like one line on here, so just kind of make it simple and clean cut for APA style. All right, and.